Yo guys, welcome back. Gun comparison, Stingray versus the semi-auto. Now, both of these semi-auto rifles have the same model. As you can see from the OG one in the Resident Evil 4 remake model is the exact same. It's just that they modernize it for today's generation and it looks pretty cool. Now, let's move on to the stats when it comes to these two semi-auto rifles. For the Stingray, it has a power of 490. It has an ammo capacity of 18 with a reload speed of 1.18 and it has a fire rate of 0.92. When you upgrade it and get it to its exclusive version, it will have double the fire rate. All right. So that's the Stingray in a nutshell. It is good for long range. If you aim at their heads, it has a three times penetration weak point. So it will clear heads with one shot if you upgrade it all the way. Now, when you're talking about the semi-auto in the OG Resident Evil 4, it has a firepower of 15. And it has a firing speed of 080 with a reload speed of 1.33. And it has a capacity of 24. All right, so you're talking about 24 versus the 18 that the Stingray has. The semi-auto for the Resident Evil 4 will blow it out of the water. The reload speed is 133. So the Stingray will have an advantage in that aspect when it comes to reloading. Now, fire rate, however, both of them have the same exclusive versions on each other. The firing speed for the OG Resident Evil 4 semi-auto is 0.80. So if you add the two times firing rate, it's going to be firing much more faster than the Stingray by 12. So you're talking about 0.80 versus 0.92. It has a 12 point differential right there. So if you want to talk about overall stats, when you're talking about these two semi-auto rifles, the OG Resident Evil 4 semi-auto is going to be much better considering the firepower it has at 15 versus the firepower of 490 for the Stingray. So it's going to uh, mop up enemies quickly. It's going to fire faster. The Stingray just has the reload uh, advantage over it. But aside from that, the OG Resident Evil 4 rifle semi-auto is going to keep doing work and on top of that the ammo capacity will make it last longer all right so combining these two semi-autos it still comes down to preference most of this game when it comes to resident evil 4 remake the weapons is just going to come down to preference there's no good bad or indifference just comes down to how you handle the weapon and how you engage with these ganados but either rifle is fine either one but if you're talking about straight up firepower is the og resident evil 4 one 